Swarapma is live with us. Uh, it, and I'll tell you how this happened, guys. So we did the conversation yesterday. My colleague Amita has been talking about Goa and the trees for the last three days. And we've decided to sort of put our shoulders behind this, uh, you know, behind this protest for the citizens. And the gentleman at Swarapma got in touch with us saying that, you know what, we feel really strongly about this as well. Can we join? I said, of course you can join. That's the whole point of citizens coming together. So they're live with us right now. And a bunch of audience members are super happy that you guys could join. Thank you so much uh, for agreeing to be part of this. But tell me, and this is not obviously the first time you've sort of um, raised your voices in both words and song for trees. But why? what is the connection with Swaratma and like trees and forests? I think we are all descended from apes who have been born and brought up in trees. And we are... <laughs> Yeah, we that is true. Yeah. No, we've always believed that our uh, music should speak about the things that are happening around us. And um, the more uh, rooted we are to the things that we are um, mm -hmm. surrounded with, the farther we can reach. That's been our idea ever since we started the band. So we do talk about um, um, the river Kaveri at one time that was like a huge issue in Karnataka yeah. and Tamil Nadu and so we wrote a song about that we have a song that's about the politics in um, in in general but more so about India and we have songs about uh, child sexual abuse we have uh, songs about urbanization and that's one of the songs that we would like to uh, share because these are the things that we see around us and when we say we are a folk rock band, folk rock or folk music does not always mean singing only folk songs. It's also about how rooted you are as a person and that where is your music coming from. So folk music has always spoken or has always um, emoted about the things that are happening around them. So it is stories of the people. It's the uh, emotions of the people. And that's what we are also doing. When we say folk rock, it's not always taking an old folk song and contemporizing it, singing it. But what is folk today will be traditional folk maybe 200 years later. You know, it's, it's really apt that you guys are singing uh, specifically to do with the protests and for the protesters in Goa because the road and the uh, electricity power lines are running from Goa into Karnataka. And they will also run into the Western Ghats of Karnataka as well. And so really, you know, while there are state borders that separate us or maybe language that separates us, at the end of the day, the trees and the forest and the Western Ghats belong to all of us. And so it becomes then a combined sort of voice between Karnataka and Goa and the citizens of these two states. But I will uh, hand the, the platform over to you for your message, not just to the people of Goa, but to all of the people of India and the responsibility that we have right now. Exactly, whether it is Goa or Karnataka, the water problem here is same as the water problem in Rajasthan or Iran or Iraq, anyway, the oil problem. So the issues are very um, similar and it, it doesn't matter, uh, even the language does not matter. It's about the emotion that each one of us feel. And when that is told through music, it does reach to one another. So uh, we have, as you, as you just mentioned, we have stood up for trees in the past and we are very happy to do that now. We are sad that we need to, but we are happy to stand up. So some time ago in Bangalore, there was uh, the steel flyover Beda movement where uh, citizens agitated and protested against what was patently uh, an illogical solution to a uh, traffic problem. And... Uh, that steel flyover was scrapped and we are happy that it was. More recently, there was this beautiful, uh, there is this beautiful area in Indranagar in Bangalore called the BDA complex, which is home to uh, about 117 trees and they were at risk of being chopped down to make way for a mall, one more of which we probably do not need. And we did this thing called the tour of trees where we went from tree to tree playing a concert tour of uh, a couple of songs each. And that's just our way of uh, letting our music speak for trees that are equally alive and need us to stand up for them. That's 
beautiful. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Yes. So this one's called Pate Sare. guys uh, we are also getting uh, a request for at least one at least one kannada song which i must <laughs> second <laughs> and since you are here and since we have you here anything yeah. else you can sing for us yes definitely um as much as we cry about so so many things going wrong and we protest we are also happy bunch of people spreading love and joy and uh, uh, peace through our music as well so uh, this is a song called e bhumi which is about this earth becoming a paradise and us celebrating with love and friendship so this one is a kannada song it's called e bhumi and you were showing us these powerful visuals of 
people who care about the earth they're walking on, the earth they're lying down on, with candles on railway tracks, mm. with each other, wearing masks, trying to do their best. This is for all of you, all of all of the people that are taking these steps. This is Ibhumi in the hope that it is because of you and us that this earth will become a paradise. <laughs> Thank you so much. Would I be pushing my luck to ask for Piyasa also? <laughs> <laughs> we can't sing Piyasa, but we can sing Piyasi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but before that, could you tell us what's uh, what's happening on the ground and uh, you know what's the way forward for people like us who want to do something about it but can't go there, can't come out in numbers, you know? Um, for so for Goa specifically, we spoke yesterday, in fact, uh, to all of the activists who are currently on the ground in Goa. And I've always advocated that uh, the best thing for us to do as citizens is to keep ourselves informed. So there's a lot of reading material on uh, the problems in Goa. Please, let's all read about it. Uh, an informed citizen is very difficult to hoodwink. And most governments rely on the fact that we are under-informed as citizens. So if you care about what's happening in Goa, first read about it and inform yourself. It's all in the public domain. It's all public documents. Uh, the second thing to do is um, raise your voice on social media, support the, uh, you know, the English on social media, let them know that you stand with them. Um, write questions, ask questions, put up videos of yourself asking these questions. And that by itself, I mean, we know that at the end of the day, 
governments are run by politicians politicians care about winning elections and they care about their popularity so i think that making them aware of the fact that more of us know and care and are willing to speak up about it uh, even outside of goa is important i think that's a great step because also in the middle of a pandemic you don't want people gathering in one place and i don't recommend that at all but we have social media and we are able to put out our voices and i think we should do that all right ya si hume tum ko phila ke thak gayi so gorgeous you guys thank you so much um for everything that you do and for sort of um i i think that right through history uh protest has always had song and that's part of for peaceful democratic protest is to have anthems and to have songs and it's so amazing that the uh the environment and the water and the earth and love and peace and friendship has anthems in the music that you make and that's really special thank you so much for speaking with us also most people think uh, protest is actually like um, whatever anti social or anything but i want to say that protest protects yes protest protects and it also i think the important thing to remember is that protest also protects those who have no voice um, and whether that is someone whose voice has been taken away because they are either poor or they come from a community that is disenfranchised or because they're animals or because they're trees or because they're birds or because they're rivers and their forests protest protects all those who cannot speak for themselves and okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's always such a pleasure to chat with you guys thank you so much for reaching out and being part of this likewise um, thank you we have... speak for the rest of our bandmates uh, milan Uh, Sanjeev and Varun who couldn't be with us on this live 
But thank you very much, Faye, for having us at Swaratma. We're, we're always delighted to come back and uh, talk to you and be a part of the things that uh, you're driving. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Our platform is always open to you. Always, always, always. Just say the word. <laughs> thank you. And Thanks. good night. Bye. To our audience, to our audience, remember, we're tracking the US election as well. It's pretty close to a result. So uh, we're going to bring you voices from across uh, from Washington in a little while. And we'll put that up as well. So you can keep coming back and checking for those results. Thanks for watching. Good night.